I recently made the video for roughly how many guns there are in Borderlands 2, so I figured I'd cap it off by doing the pre-sequel as well. Now at first glance of the pre-sequel you think, this probably doesn't have near as many weapons as the other Borderlands games. Now I'm not trying to sound like a shitty Buzzfeed video, but you might be shocked by the answer. So the pre-sequel was partially copy and paste from Borderlands 2, as many of the weapons are the same. There are three major differences in base name guns, which is what we'll call our first answer to the question of how many guns. The pre-sequel adds laser guns, obviously, a new popular gun type, but it adds old and new Hyperion weapons, as well as the awesome glitch weapons from Claptrap's DLC. Old and new Hyperion weapons basically just doubles the amount of weapons possible by Hyperion as the pre-sequel was a transitionary period for Hyperion due to Handsome Jack. There's also the glitch weapons, which basically act as another scale of common weapon varieties in terms of base names as all common weapons can spawn as glitches technically. Because of these three additions, despite having fewer unique weapons, the pre-sequel actually has more base guns than Borderlands 2. Now when I say the base name gun, I mean the actual name that the gun is given, which is determined by both the barrel and the body of the gun. If you're going by this method, the pre-sequel has 1,117 guns in total, including the 12 starting guns. So the pre-sequel has almost one and a half times that of Borderlands 2. Now we all know that there are several different ways to count guns. Along with the base name, there can also be several different prefixes, elements, grips, stocks, and sights. Now for the most part I went over all of these in the video about Borderlands 2, so I'm not going to go over the nuances for all of those in this video as they basically stay the same, with the exclusion of laser weapons, obviously. Lasers are unique because they do not have prefixes with the exclusion of Hyperion weapons which can have a bladed prefix. Because the manufacturers that make lasers are Dahl, Hyperion, Malawan, and Tidior, there are four grips, four stocks, and four sights along with the no sight option. Now the thing that really boosts the weapon count in the pre-sequel here is the new Loonshine effect on weapons. There are eight different Loonshine effects that you can add to every single one of your guns that can have Loonshine. This applies to most weapons due to the grinder with the exclusion of white, glitch, and most unique rarity guns. Even most all legendaries can spawn with Loonshine effects. Because of this, most guns have 9 times more weapon possibilities than Borderlands 2. Glitch weapons also come in with 4 possible different glitch effects, which makes up for the lack of Loonshine on them. When you add all of the possible combinations of all of these parts and effects, you get a grand total of 18,535,711 guns. Now before I saw this, I was secretly hoping that there were more guns in Borderlands 2 because reasons, but once you see this number and start thinking about all of the different possible weapon levels you can get, it's almost no contest. Now due to the grinder, basically any common rarity weapon can be achieved in theory, white all the way to purple. Obviously you'd need to work for it, but they can be all 70 levels. Now this also rings true for legendary weapons that can be world drops or from grinder fodder as well. The tricky ones come in once again for unique mission and non-mission weapons, glitch guns, and shift code guns. Shift code guns can technically be achieved on all levels, I don't know why you would, but you technically can. Mission weapons, I gave a total of 22 levels due to 2 and normal and true, and theoretically if you try really hard you can get all 20 levels in UVHM. For unique items from bosses that drop them, I upped that to 26. And finally, glitch weapons, I have 34 because you can get a roughly 7 level spread in Claptrap's DLC for both normal and true, and then add the last 20 levels as well. After all of this fabulantastic math, we come up with a whoppingly large number. If you spent all of your life playing Borderlands the pre-sequel, you could technically get, and give me a little bit of a wiggle room here, roughly 1,223,644,466 guns. I really thought it would be much closer to Borderlands 2, but it beats it out by almost 10 times the amount of weapons. To put this into perspective, not only would this number not fit on my phone calculator, but if you got a completely different gun every second you played this game, it would still take you just under 39 years to get all of the weapons. 
I don't think I need to put that more into perspective because I would bet you're hearing that and going, holy shit, I haven't even been alive nearly that long. Honestly, it made me want to start grinding for these random guns to kill EOS for absolutely no reason whatsoever. That's the end of this one. Please don't ask me to do Borderlands 1. I'd rather hammer my head against the wall for a day. Instead, I think I'm going to do a fan-voted video uh, of the most annoying NPCs from Borderlands, featuring, of course, the lava is rising, there are missions available at the Firestone Bounty Board, and did I mention I'm a lesbian? If you enjoyed this video and think you might enjoy this channel, be sure to dislike, unsub, force me to listen to classical music, and I won't see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.